Hi everyone! In today's video I want to continue playing with my newly gained Gadi acrylic binder, which I recently got from Bösner, and I already start falling in love with this stuff. It works really great and it is a good alternative if you cannot get your hands on the floor tool anymore. Or if you cannot get your hands on it in general. Or if the Bösner stuff is more affordable to you. And besides of playing with my new acrylic binder, it also fell time to make another ring pour. Because some time has already passed since I did my last ring pour attempt and so I thought, why not trying this on a larger scale this time. When it comes to the color palette, I want to stay in the range of earth tones. So as you can see here, I have mixed some blue, some gold, a cream color, a yellow and my dark blue. I always love these yellow to green or green to yellow transitions and I hope to achieve some of them in this pour here as well. Before I actually start as usual I prep my canvas, which actually only means putting some pinboard pins underneath just to have it elevated from the surface. This will make things easier when they trip off, drips off. <laughs> And yeah, it will it will leave you a cleaner edge in the very end. So you can use a whatsoever a stick or something and just move around the edges when everything is poured, just to clean off the drip of noses, which makes it look a bit cleaner in the very end. So long story short, before I started, I just used a regular white paint to to cover the edges. This will help the acrylic paint to flow a bit better in the very end once it's poured. So you actually have a base layer of paint on the canvas already, just in case some parts are missed and not covered with paint in the very end. So this is a helpful thing in general. And other than that, you can just influence your result of the pour in terms of which color you put when in your pouring cup. Because the first color you put in is going to be the last color that is coming out. And if you layer them on top of each other, make sure they in a way layer towards the edge where you're pouring from. So this will make sure that your color comes out all at once. So all the colors together and not just layer by layer actually. So this is my actually way to create these ring pours. Some work better, some don't. So once my colors were put into my mixing cup, and it's not really a cup this time as you can see, but I thought having this nose there makes it easier to, yeah, to create the, the ring effect, I just poured it onto the canvas using soft light circles with my hand just to bring out the colors in the circular motion. And as you all can see, my table was not level, so the paint was running a bit towards one side. As I had to move the paint around anyways, it was not so much of a deal, but you know, my ultimate goal is to have my table level, so one day I hopefully will achieve this goal. <laughs> when all my color was poured, I moved it around until everything of the canvas was covered and had a somewhat decent looking shape or design on my canvas. And then there was the struggle if I want to torch it or not. A part of me did not want to torch it, another part of me did want to torch it. You see, I did torch it in the very end. I'm not really sure if it was the best decision, but I liked the end result, so I was fine with it. Would you have torched it? So when everything was done, cells were going to form, I could not do anything more than just let it dry, and this was what I did. It took about until the next day, and as usual with the acrylic pouring, or acrylic paint in general, they darkened a bit when they dried, which was cool because this was what I actually hoped for, especially for the blue, and it really turned into very pretty blue. Watching it, the end result, or the result so far, well, something was missing, I think. I really liked the cells which were forming, I liked the greens and the yellow-greenish part on top of it. I really liked that some of the white was popping through, and I in a way liked this dark blue area on the bottom. But Overall, it looked a bit boring or not as fancy as I hoped to, so I made up my mind what I could probably do to even improve this piece. So I grabbed my Posca markers, which is actually paint filled into pens, if you like to say that, and made some right lines onto it, just to separate some of these ribbons a bit more, which felt nice looking and a bit more genuine to the entire piece, but it did not really make the deal for me. So I grabbed my golden markers, which is actually more like an adding than it is a Posca marker, but it does the same job here, and made some gold lines onto it, which looked nice, but again not so much what I actually had in mind. So I wanted to have some more shades down there where it was that yeah, big blue area, 
So I grabbed some gold mica pigments and mixed them with the varnish so that I can make somewhat yeah, glazing over this area. I know that the varnish is going to dry translucent so you will not see it in the very end so I hope that some of the gold pigments will make a somewhat shimmer in the very end. But still the bottom area was not as fancy as I was hoping for. So I want to use my crackling paint again which you know I really love. I love the effect and you can see the bottle already standing there. So I just decided to make some of the paint over the dark blue area. In the very end it is supposed to make some cracks and more texture on the surface just to make it a bit more interesting to look at. And the good thing with this crackling paint you can just apply it and let it be. Once it's going to dry it cracks on its own and the thicker the paint is the more well, larger cracks you're going to get and if you leave this paint very thin you will get many small cracks. But whatever result you're going for it always looks stunning I think. The drying time of the cracking paint is depending on the temperature in your room. Although this summer here and really warm inside it took about half of a day to have it completely dried and cracked up. But in the meantime you can just start with the next project, don't you? <laughs> At the next day I varnished the entire piece and thought that the blue was not the best looking blue that I can get. I wanted to have a bit more shiny or metallic, so I glazed some metallic pigments over it which worked really great and I put a varnish over it once it was dry again. But now there comes a question where I ask for your input. So how do you like this area? So when I look at it now I really like the effect how it turned out. So the cracks are really awesome, but I'm really not sure if this area is too light now. So if I should glaze something a bit more darker over it, so a bit of this darker blue just to tone it down or just one stripe through the middle of it, I'm open for suggestions and make this one a majority count, I guess. So if the majority of you thinks that I should glaze something darker over it just to make it more interesting to look at again, just let me know in the comments. If the majority of you thinks that it should stay like it is, I will leave it like it is. So this, this time is up to you and I will follow your orders, so to speak. Of course, also let me know in general how much you liked this piece, if you liked it at all or if you think I have messed up or should have done something different, if you like the color palette or whatever comments you would like to leave. If this was the first video of mine which you've seen, just make sure to subscribe if you liked it and give me a thumbs up. And of course, also have a look at all these other videos that I already have uploaded on my channel. If you're interested to see what colors or materials I've used, they are all listed below in the video description. And there are also my social media links. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can use my Instagram, my Twitter, although I'm not really often on Twitter, I must say. But Facebook and Instagram are the mediums where I often am and of course here on YouTube. So thank you for your time, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next videos. <laughs> Have a great day, bye bye!